three, two. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Proper. Now, today, I'm going to show you how to service bearings. Here's a bearing and it's sealed. And the nice thing about sealed bearings is they are serviceable. Granted, you get to them before it's too late and they get pitted and gross. You can service this. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do today. I don't know if you can hear that. Tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need a dentist pick. Step number one, we need to remove the seals. There's a seal on both sides and it's real simple with the dentist pick. Doesn't matter if you start on the inside or the outside. You're just kind of looking though for a soft spot because you don't want to damage the seal at all. You really don't want to poke any holes or ruin the rubber. What you're looking for, this space between the ball bearings where you can kind of sink it in a little bit and just get in underneath. Once you do that, you'll kind of just pull up one side and be able to remove the full thing. And here's what we see. This is one side of the bearing and we'll go ahead and take out the other side. Oh, goodness gracious. You wanna be careful when you do this because um, you don't wanna damage the seal as I just did. No, I'm joking, I didn't damage it. It's fine, people, it's fine. Okay, so how do you go about cleaning this? Well, our goal is to remove as much dirt, corrosion, and old grease from here as possible. And that, what you really need is a cleaner. Now, there's a lot of stuff you could use, and what I'm using is just what I have here, kerosene, which really is kind of more or less diesel, where are we? It's more or less diesel fuel. I'm trying to flush it out. I'm trying to flush whatever, whatever sand and grit has worked its way in there. And should you be touching your, you know, finger and your skin to the cleaning agent? Probably not. So you do that. Whatever cleaner you wanna use here, maybe you just have chain cleaner, maybe you have who knows what. Before you put fresh grease in, you need to use an alcohol-based product to completely remove the residue of the cleaner you used. So this product will kill you if you're in California. That's really what's good because it's gonna evaporate away any leftover residue. Now this stuff you definitely don't wanna get on your skin. Um, so when you hold the towel bare skinned like this, you're definitely exposing yourself to some unwanted nastiness. Now that you have this alcohol, give that whole bearing a wipe down. And we're gonna do a spin test here. And hopefully what we find is that this bearing spins now completely free. So you might even be able to see here now, it's really clean in there. So you can just see it'll keep going. And this is really, really slick now. So yeah, look at that. So there's nothing in that bearing. It's just the races, the ceramic bearings themselves, and the little guide. And now we have a beautifully clean bearing. So the next step is we're gonna re-grease this son of a gun. Now I wanna point out again, the bearing has the plate on one side and it has open ball bearings on the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a seal on the side with the plate right off the bat. And you really just snap it in. Use your thumb, go nice and around. And maybe you heard that on the, uh, the clip there. It just snapped into place. Beautiful. This is the side where I'm gonna pack the grease. You can be using any type of grease you want. You don't wanna use an oil. It'll never stay inside. It'll drip out the seal. And you can see how certain greases work better than others. Uh, this is a ceramic speed bearing. I'm going to be using the ceramic speed grease. We are not gonna fill in the bearing 100%. We're actually only gonna fill in a half. I would even consider doing just a quarter. You don't need to fill this to capacity. If you overfill the bearing, what happens is all the grease gets pushed to the outside up against the seal walls, and it kind of never gets on the bearings. It's like there's so much it's getting shot out and you're, there's just no real benefit to over greasing these. So um, with the syringe, it makes it real easy and you could go ahead and get yourself a syringe even for just for regular grease. But there you go. I am going to fill half of that bearing and maybe you can see that in the camera. One half is filled. Maybe I'll put a little bit more in right. Boom. That's a true half if you have OCD. So 
I'm going to take my seal and I'm going to pop it back in. Now I might not hear that nice snap I heard the first time just because there's grease in there and now with the seal I'll start to turn it. Now when you hold a fresh bearing it's not going to spin like it was before because there's grease in there. The grease is stopping. So now to tell if the bearing is good what you want to do is go purely by feel. It's going to feel firm. It's going to feel like there's some resistance. That's not what you're concerned with. You're looking for, you're trying to feel any bit of notchiness, any bit of grit or a non-continuous feel to the bearing. The bearing should feel super solid and it should just feel consistent. And that's exactly how this one feels. So don't worry about the fact that this won't spin anymore. That's totally irrelevant, but nice and smooth. Now, before you go and put this back onto your bike, uh, just make sure your seals are correct, that nothing happened in the re install. Just make sure the seals are good before you put it back in a general grease. So I'm not going to use the ceramic speed grease. I'll use just my regular assembly grease. I like the clear stuff. I'll put a film, a thin film around the entire surface of the bearing and that is good enough for, this is a bottom bracket, that is enough grease for the bottom bracket. And that's how you do that. And this is now going to be good for half a season guaranteed and depending on how much you ride, you know, that winter part of the season, this may be good for your once a year service. Thank you for watching everyone. I appreciate uh, any feedback or comments you guys want to make. Like, comment, subscribe, and whatever. And uh, I will see you again, I don't know, very soon though.